Hello my celestial friends, I'm Eka, the Saving Sorceress, and today it is time for another stone and crystal haul. What can I say? I love me a good rock. <laughs> it's one of the best parts about being a witch. You have a great excuse to go to your local stone and crystal warehouse. Mine is Planet Earth Rocks and Crystals. And just, you know, pick up everything. Bring all the rocks home. Put them in my house. Thank you very much. Here's all my money. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> I try not to spend all of my money there, but, you know. It's rough. I did get some really amazing pieces this time, so let's get into the haul. Okay, I'm gonna save the very best for last, but honestly, all of these are kind of the very best, so you'll see what I mean. <laughs> I'll start with this gorgeous little mushroom, and I had the hardest time trying to identify what this mushroom actually was because it's just, it's really unique and interesting. Like, I've never seen anything like it. I love their little carved mushrooms. They do a whole bunch of different ones sort of like this. This one is a little bigger than the ones they usually do and a little cheaper. Honestly, I don't know how that works out, but I'll take it. But it's just, it's so gorgeous. And I did a whole lot of research to try to find out exactly what type of stone this was. Because honestly, I like to know what I have. I want to know exactly what I'm putting in my house and in my life and in my magical library. So um, I looked it up and I'm going to try to pronounce this. Chrysocola. Chrysocola. Okay. Chrysocola, I guess. That was kind of hard to pronounce. But anyway, what I figured out it was, was a Chrysocola with quartz mushroom. So yeah, it's just semi-sheer and there's some stuff that sort of looks like moss inside of it. It speaks to me of the forest. I feel like it's encapsulated a forest. It's just enchanting. And I mean, who doesn't love a good mushroom? I'm so glad that it's become something that people like really love right now because mushroom everything little like mushroom cups and mushroom tables and mushroom patterns and mushroom fabrics this is what i wanted my entire life like i've always wanted to have that available and i'm kind of looking forward to when it goes out of style so i can buy it all up for cheap and get everything secondhand <laughs> but anyway yes i will probably be getting more little carved mushrooms because i can't resist i just can't resist this and next, we've got some hematite. And I'm just so drawn to hematite. I've been in love with it since I was a kid. I had a little bit of like a necklace set that had all sorts of different stones and crystals on it. And the hematite one was one of my favorites. There's just something so deep about it, I guess. It draws you in. And I love the fact that it's sort of a mirrored surface, like I can see myself in the stone, which is wild. I am just glad that I picked it up. I was kind of like, you don't need more hematite in your life, but honestly, I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just super excited about this little one and it's polished so beautifully. <sighs> it's gonna make an excellent addition to my magical library. These ammonite halves, I love them so much. I'm usually not a huge one for fossils. There's just something about an ammonite. It's just, it's stunning. I feel like it just draws me in. There's a power here. And I am just really glad to have it. Like, give me these over a trilobite any day. <laughs> I am in love. I think it really speaks to me of ancient oceans and I just find that concept so beautiful. When I go to bed every night, I like to feel like I'm in the depths of the ocean and I feel like these two really bring that out. They really just make me think of our sacred beginnings as ocean creatures ourselves. You know, not in this state obviously, but you know, back before there was anything else. We were all just ocean creatures. These were around with some of our most ancient ancestors. 
And I think there's something really beautiful in that. So I've really found lately that fluorite is speaking to me and it is just one of the most gorgeous stones in existence. It's got purple and green and white banding and it's just all sorts of colors. I am all about color. It's the beauty of nature. I love the fact that in nature there is so much color. Just so much color and I I like to surround myself with it. So yeah, this one came on a keychain and I thought that was really cool because I actually collect keychains, but I probably don't need a whole other keychain really. However, I can use this to make a little necklace out of it. And it's super easy because it's already attached to a keychain and I can just remove the keychain part and use the chain or add maybe some other bits and details. I haven't really decided what I wanted to do with it, but I mean, look at that. This is gonna make an amazing necklace. <laughs> I think it's so pretty, or I can make a cool little bracelet with it too. It's a little heavy maybe for a bracelet, but I don't know. I'm exploring my options. So on the subject of fluorite, I've been finding myself really drawn to fluorite lately and I was kind of wondering why and I looked it up and apparently it's associated with balance, which makes sense because things in my life have been a little bit unbalanced lately. I feel like everything is just happening at once. So many things that people that I love are going through right now that I want to be there for all of them, but I, I can't even help myself sometimes. I'm a bit of a mess to be honest right now. Things have been a little bit wild and I'm just trying to keep up so having more balance in my life is always welcome. And so I got these gorgeous little chips that are all just fluorite chips. I have a lot of ideas for what I could do with these and I love them. I mean, I can use them just to scatter. I could use them in some sort of altar if I wanted to. I'm thinking of putting them in some jewelry perhaps. And I mean, honestly, these would probably be a better size for a bracelet. So yeah, just so many options. Also, a while back, I bought this gorgeous seven chakra tree, and I've wanted to try my hand at making my own wire wrapped tree or wire wrapped jewelry in general. I just haven't really done that, but I've seen some beautiful examples of it, and I just, I want to see what I could do with that. And I think that the different colors of fluorite would make a beautiful wire wrap tree. So like a mini one, you know? So I will see if I end up doing that, I might even make a video of it if I decide to. And with all these different colors, I think I could do some great things. And then the grand finale, this amazing piece of blue gold stone. Like in my mind, technically, I think this is purple, but the name of it is Blue Goldstone, so sure. Now, I did say that I was gonna try to stop buying any more man-made crystals because I really prefer, you know, the ones that actually come directly from the earth. And you know, those are just the ones that really draw me in the most, but I had to make another exception because look at this gorgeous piece. I love the egg shape when it comes to these carved crystals. I just think that there's something so, you know, full of life, <laughs> if we're getting a little bit literal, uh, in the egg shape. And also, this particular one reminds me of a starry galaxy or just the universe in general. And there's a lot of associations, I feel like, between the universe and the egg. It, it's just, there's a depth in it that really, really spoke to me and I, I couldn't say no. I knew I was gonna regret it if I didn't get it. It is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous little crystal and I had to save it for last because, I mean, what can beat this? It's a star field. I feel like I'm traveling into the universe every time I look at this little egg.
just being around all my sands and crystals really feeds my soul. I love them so much. So which ones have been speaking to you lately or really drawing you in? I would love to hear about them down in the comments. And also if you enjoyed this video, I would really love it if you down a like and subscribe and stick around for more videos like this, mostly about thrifting and sewing and crafting and fashion, but all of them with a witchy spin. I will be back soon, so stay tuned and remember my celestial friends. Say whatever stones and crystals really speak to you. Be kind to yourself and to the universe and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. Now these ammonite hive, yes, these ammonite hives. That's, that's exactly what these are. <laughs> this, oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah, I can't keep hold of it, it's so smooth! Someone please take my wallet away from me when I go to the next opening of Planet Earth Rocks and Crystals, cause like seriously, this is a problem. <laughs>